G'day guys, Andrew and Ian here again from Australian Shuffleboard. How's it going? Today we're going to show you how to score a game of Shuffleboard. Okay, before you can score any points in Australian Shuffleboard, you need to slide a legal puck up the table. Ian's now going to demonstrate he places his puck on the table, slides bouncing off one of the cushions and progressing up the table. Now it's important to note you don't need to go off a specific side, you can go off either cushion and your puck can bounce once only off any position on that cushion. We're now going to show you some versions of illegal pucks or foul shots. So Ian's going to pick up his puck and slide it directly up the table without hitting either of the cushions. Now in Australian shuffleboard that is considered an illegal puck and we remove it from the table and place it in the gutter at the end. Our second type of illegal puck or foul shot is where a puck hits both cushions. Uh, so Ian's going to demonstrate that now. In Australian shuffleboard, a puck that hits both cushions is considered a foul shot and we remove it from the table. Our third type of illegal puck or foul shot is where a puck may hit the side but doesn't make it over the foul line or the halfway line. Ian's going to demonstrate that now. So in Australian shuffleboard, a puck that hasn't reached halfway is considered a foul shot and we remove it from the table. We're now going to demonstrate what happens when a foul shot interacts with a puck in play. So Ian's going to slide one now. In this case, Ian's puck was a foul shot because it didn't hit either of the cushions. So what we do is we remove Ian's puck from the table and the red puck that has since been knocked off the table, we replace as close to its original position as possible. show you the scoring zones on Australian shuffleboard table. So we've got the one, two, three and the five as you can see. So if a puck lands anywhere from the halfway line or the foul line through to the one, either here, here or here, it attracts one point. If the puck lands in the two zone, completely it attracts two points. If it lands in the three, three points. Of course the same thing for the fives in both the corners. Quite often in a game of shuffleboard, a puck will land between scoring zones. In this example, the red is on the zone between the one and the two. It attracts the lesser number, so that's scoring one point. Even if the puck is majority in a scoring zone, in this example, still between the one and the two, but slightly in the one, it attracts one point. Same thing again, if it's between the two and the three zone, this is a puck that scores two points. Again, between the three and the five zone, it attracts the lesser number, and that, this puck scores three points. Same thing again, if it's on three zones, in this example it's on the three, the five and the two, it, is, it scores two points. Sometimes in a game of Australian shuffleboard, a puck will slide right up to the end of the table but remain on the table and slightly hang over the edge. These are considered are called hangers. In this case, this blue puck is hanging slightly over the edge of the three zone. This attracts a bonus point. So this blue puck scores four points in this case. Same thing in the corners, if this puck was slightly hanging over the edge of the five zone, it actually attracts an additional five points and scores 10 points. Again, same thing in the other corner. If a puck hangs over the edge of the three and the five zone, but is still in the three zone, it's considered a, a puck that has landed in the three zone, attracts the one bonus point, this puck scores four points. If a puck hangs over the edge of the table in either the one, two or five zone, it doesn't attract any bonus points, and it's just the scoring zone that it resides in. And finally, if a puck hangs over the corner, so it hangs over both the side and the end of the table, it will, typically, it will be in the five zone, it attracts the additional five points, and it scores 10 points. If a puck looks like it's a hanger but you're not sure, the way to test if it is, is once all eight pucks have been slid up the table for the end, we simply grab one of the dead pucks, we place it touching the uh, bottom of the gutter, and the edge of the, of the playing surface and slide it up the table. If it hits, it's considered a hanger. If it doesn't, it's not considered a hanger. In this example here where we have two pucks of opposing colour both hanging off the end of the table, once the end's been completed, the way we work out which puck is ahead is by which puck is furthest advanced up the table. So whilst in ordinary play this red hanging over in the 5 zone would attract bonus points and score 10, whilst this blue puck would only score 4, the blue puck is further up the table than the red, so the blue puck attracts 4 points and the red attracts nothing. I'm now going to play an end of 
shuffleboard, and then we're going to show you how to score an end of shuffleboard. Ian and I have now completed our first end of a game of Australian Shuffleboard. You can see there's six pucks remaining on the table with two in the gutter. In Shuffleboard, only one colour attracts points during each end of a match. In this case, the furthest advance up the table are the red pucks that Ian slid. So in this case, he has two pucks further, uh, advanced up the table before my first puck, the blue puck, comes into play. So Ian's pucks attract two because it's on the line, so it's the lesser number between the two and the three zone and all, an additional two because this red puck is completely in the scoring zone. Then my puck comes into play negating anything behind it. So the score after our first end of shuffleboard is four points to red, zero points to blue. Just to show you another example with um, variations on scoring. So if, I, if my blue puck wasn't in play and was in the ditch, the score would be a lot different after this first end. So we still have our two on the line, we still have our two completely in the zone. But then we also have these pucks come into play, the one and the one, because they're in the one zone. My puck remaining on the table is uh, behind those bands four reds. In this case, the score would be six points to red, zero points to blue. So now we've shown you how to score a game of Australian Shuffleboard. Make sure you check out our website, australianshuffleboard.com.au, for more resources. We do have our how to score posters up there that you can download. And make sure you subscribe to our other videos. But from me and I for the moment, enjoy your shuffleboard and happy shuffling. See you later.